Foodie here. Today we're going to do, well, should be fettuccine because I watch Gino Di Campo and he's fettuccine. Steve, fettuccine. I don't have cherry tomatoes. I don't have fresh clams, bungala. I don't have. So you're not doing a, a Campo special? No, I'm doing my, and I'll put an onion in as well. So let's get it chopped up. Anyway, the the spaghetti is plain rigoletto. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Anyway, the spaghetti is here. Let me move you over here. I might have to move you back again because you're gonna get steamed up. Anyway, spaghetti is in. The spaghetti is the first thing we put in. I've got my flop somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. My spaghetti. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to start the other one off. Sorry to say, I'm going to have to move you again, but it doesn't matter. Olive oil, I'll, I'll tell you what we're putting in this. Different to uh, uh, Gino Di Campo. He wants fresh everything, but I don't have fresh. All I could find is some frozen bongola clams, and they've opened already. As soon as you put them in the water to defrost. Hang on, hang on, guys. I've got other things. I've got other... Who said... Men can't do two things at once. Let's put the heat down. No, they can't. It's not true, ladies. We can do more than two things at once. Yeah, the spaghetti is going lovely. So, spaghetti al dente, right? That's what we're going to do. Now we're going to get the uh, other one on the go. We put it hot. Olive oil. I'll move you over there in a little bit. But first of all, we stay here. We've got olive oil, some wine, Italian wine, salt and pepper, chili flakes. We don't have fresh chili and, and uh, Gino's has got cherry tomatoes I don't have. So it has to be that fresh tomato from Malta. Though. Look how nice it is. Garlic, onions and frozen clams. So let's start off with the onion. Gino cooked this one. He did. A, he does some nice one in Sardinia. It's from Sardinia, Gino de Campo. I'd always like to go there. Before. He don't put. No, he doesn't put onion. Sorry, I'm speaking brummy. He... <laughs> Sometimes the garlic is really strong. And he was sitting by the beach, so it's like sitting down, eh? Ooh. Now the first thing you got to start on this recipe, let's move that out of the way there, is the spaghetti because the sauce takes no time at all. Oh, that one crunched. That's a good way to take the skin off, guys. Just use the back of your knife and just... That one was just super hard, I don't know why. Anyway, I was going to do this outside, but the wind is blowing like crazy. I was going to do a, a cooking one outside, because this is super easy. Let's just make these a little bit smaller, because nothing worse than having a big chunk of garlic in your mouth. That's what I say. Or a piece of skin. I'm losing the onions. You've been losing those for years, Steve. <laughs> anyway, this is nicely chopped up. We're gonna leave the tomatoes for a bit. We put the garlic. Now important in this recipe, I'm gonna almost put it down to nothing. Come over here. Can you see this, guys? I think you can see it, eh? Yeah, that's good. Let's get a duplop. Important is, the main thing in this is the garlic. And don't burn it. Because you get real bitter. Some people like burned garlic. I, I saw a recipe about burned garlic. <laughs> Look how quick this sauce is. It's unbelievably quick. 
just sweat it down, uh, the onions. The, the onions are very, very small, so they're gonna cook in no time at all. So you don't want a, a large flame. You wanna just cook it like this. Oh, they're playing Rigoletto. They're almost done. This is how fast. This is gonna be a, <laughs> this is gonna be a super fast recipe. Anyway, you should really use cherry tomatoes. But I'm gonna use tomatoes chopped up. It's a fresh tomato. Let's just cut that down. Hang on guys, I'll be back soon. Anyway, back again guys. I was getting a call from, who knows it? Guess who knows who? Tomatoes in now. Important guys, I have to stress this enough. Don't burn the garlic, because you get a horrible bitter taste in it. I think the uh, spaghetti important al dente. We can do that now. Super hot spaghetti. Just a second more. Probably a couple minutes more, but there's no much ready now. Clams going. Look how fast this is. Oh, did somebody go out? How nice, eh? Super fast. I'm gonna twist you around a bit. I hope you're getting everything in here. The clams, um, they were frozen. So as soon as I put them in the defrosting, there. anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, a little bit of pepper, a few chili flakes. Some white wine. Virtually it's ready guys. They've all opened. Normally if you're using fresh clams, vongla, you would just wait for them to open and they'll be ready. I think that's ready now. I've turned that off. Let me just cook that down a little bit and I'll be back with you. The spaghetti is very, very close. Al dente, it's almost ready. Let's move you over here. I'm gonna give that sauce a few more, oh, more, no more than a minute, just to uh, get rid of the, the alcohol of the wine. Put it up. We wanna burn off that alcohol, so you don't want it, you want a, a pure taste of the wine. Steve, did you get a glass of wine? I got one somewhere. <laughs> This is, this is so fast. I'll have to put something in to make a decent video. Thanks guys, we're well over. I told you, remember I said to you, I was 900 and something, I think something like that. And I, was, I wasn't far away. And what's really got me mad, because you've got, you've got to get the watch hours as well. And I had 4,000 watch hours, but it must be uh, in, a, in, a, so, in a period. So I got, the, I got the subscribers, as it got to a thousand, it went to 150, 120, and it's 130 something now. So cheers guys, I told you after a thousand, YouTube starts suggesting the videos more because it must be the computer must think, oh, we've got a thousand, we can, we can make some money now. Obviously we don't make a lot of money, it's just like peanuts from YouTube, but they, they like to introduce and keep you on the platform and make a lot of money. But thanks guys, we're doing, I'm just cooking the sauce down now. I think I'll come back to you in a second. It looks lovely. Come and have a look, quick look. Spaghetti, I'm gonna drain it now. So let me drain the spaghetti, cook the alcohol out of the sauce, and it's ready. Thank you, Gino. Cheers guys, we're ready. Let's get rid of all the rubbish. Um, those are people that say that 
Spaghetti is fattening. They don't want to eat spaghetti. Don't do a big mountain. 100, 100 grams is enough for everybody. I mean, that's, that's like even, how much is One fifth of the packet. Anyway, the spaghetti is al dente. It's important if you want to eat it Italian style. There's a lovely spaghetti. So 100 grams of spaghetti. And the vongola. Can we put it in a little bit? I like a bit of, the, bit of that sauce. Can just put it like this. Wow. How do you, how do you do your spaghetti guys? Oh, look at that sauce. I'm gonna mix it up, the spaghetti. You know what I should have done? This I moment, I knew it up. Put the spaghetti. Oh, I'm gonna get shot for this. Gina would have killed me. I forgot that she's supposed to put the spaghetti and the vongola together in the pan. I'm getting forgetful. There we are. So I poured the, uh, get to coat the spaghetti. And I should have left a little bit of water because I drained it. So it wasn't actually, it's not actually to the letter of Gino's recipe. But anyway, it looks a nice spaghetti. There's quite a bit of water there. Have we got some drained water? Yeah, yeah. Let's put some of that in. At least I won't get too shot. Because <laughs> you're supposed to put some of the pasta water in there. But I'm English, man. Do we care? Do we help? I thought there was something fishy what I was doing. I said, do I normally put it like, do I normally put the sauce in like that? Too much wine, I think that's the problem. So you, you, um, you cook the spaghetti, drain it off a little bit, leave some pasta water. Don't do as I do. Put the spaghetti into the pan with the bonga. And I've just got a little bit of a heat. Cook it down a bit. Mix it all up in the sauce. I could see, actually, you know, when I was doing it, I could hear you shouting, Steve, you're not doing it the right way. I don't know what, what came into my mind then. Anyway, we'll do it, we'll do it the proper way. Not the English man's way. Oh, that sauce looks lovely. It's a bit difficult sitting down, but if I stand up. Oh, look at that sauce there, guys. Ooh, 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 the smell is fantastic. Anyway, that's ready. <laughs> I saved myself. <laughs> We all make mistakes, eh, guys? Just uh, I made more than many. So there's the vongola. Not very impressive, the vongola. Super small. Oh, but, but tasty, all the same. Small and tasty. Not like the fresh ones. Bit of spaghetti. Mmm. Mm. It's got a nice taste in there. The tomatoes and the garlic. I love to um <coughs> I love to put some onions. Onions always make a great taste, eh guys? Mm. Excellent. Quick video. Spaghetti vongola. Spaghetti with clams and with my secret. Um, ingredients onions thank you Gino we did it exactly what Gino said he asked for fresh chilies I don't have fresh clams I don't have <laughs> don't put any onions in Steve Gino said I put onions in and cherry tomatoes but you have what is in the fridge eh guys waste not what not see you everybody thanks a lot <laughs>